go. Yeah, so how is it, how is it um, similar to DMT? Because I've not done DMT before. I've done a couple of other ones. Um, done mushrooms. I feel like mushrooms are quite different to breath work. But what, how, is, how is DMT um, similar? Uh, there's like a, there's a um, visceral feeling you get like in your torso that's very similar. And then also that first trip, well, I shouldn't say trip, my first breath work experience uh, and, and a couple since then, but that first one in particular with DMT, if you, if you take a pretty good shot, cause it doesn't last very long. It don't, you know, like maybe 10 minutes, you know, yeah. uh, for, for several minutes you will, or I should say, I, I, uh, it seemed like I was flying through the sky and like clouds and stuff, but instead of blue sky and white clouds, like everything was rainbow and yeah. very like a lot of pink, like sherbet colors, wow. you know, like the soft orange and the soft green and the soft yellow, like, like that. And I mean, it's like literally like you're flying through the sky, but it's all, you know, all in technicolor. Um, and I had that, that, those same visuals. Wow. Yeah. It, it just, well, I think what fascinates me about these altered states of consciousness is that, you know, in, in this, I just feel like we only have a minor bandwidth with which to play, you know, when we're in reality, so to speak, and playing around with different things, you know, without getting too wacky or whatever, even just going, even just traveling, having a different perspective can sometimes be really healing. I think that's what's really exciting about the frontier of psychedelic medicine, breath work, you know, um, is that people are starting to have a think about the benefit of a different perspective. You know what I mean? Oh yeah. 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 I was reading the other day, they've been doing some very interesting work with uh, psilocybin at uh, Johns Hopkins. They did a, it was a smoking cessation experiment and they had, I want to say it was like 20,000 or 25,000 people. They gave them, they gave them mushrooms and 85% of them quit smoking that day. I haven't had a cigarette for two years since, since, since the, since the experiment occurred, the, the article I was reading was two years later, 85% of the people had not had a cigarette in, in, in that time. It's just insane, hey? Because that's got to be one of the most addictive substances. Nicotine's got to be one of the most addictive things you can get get hooked on. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. And I mean, eighty five percent. That's you know, there's. I don't think any medications have yeah. that kind of success rate. You know, that's insane. <laughs> it's unbelievable. I know, yeah. man. I know. So, when did you start doing DMT? When was your first experience? Uh. Uh, the end of 2012. Oh, that's specific. <laughs> now, what yeah. day and month, mate? <laughs> yeah. Uh, it was actually, man, it was like the beginning of December. <laughs> you actually know. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It was a big, it, it was a, it was a big, that whole year was pretty gnarly for me. And, the, and like the end of it, uh, I came home um, and a good friend of mine picked me up from the train station in LA. And, uh, we drove back to Oceanside, which is where I live. And it's, uh, it's like maybe two hours South of like, like downtown Los Angeles. And, uh, uh, I remember him telling me like on the way, like, you got to try this stuff. Got, you know, you got to try it. Cause I'd been doing acid for, uh, you know, 10 or 13 years by that point. So, um, so yeah, I was pretty excited. And that first, <laughs> veteran. One, that first one was gnarly. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Yeah. Cause I, I've always heard that, uh, you take it and it only lasts for 10 minutes or, you know, which is obviously very different to other hallucinogenics, but like if you're on the trip or if you're having that experience, it can feel like a hell of a lot longer. Did you experience that as well? Oh yeah. Yeah. I remember uh, the first time, like I said, I was flying through like, you know, the, the rainbow colored sky and, and the only thing that I could hear or that I, that I knew was real was Zeppelin was playing on my, oh. on my buddy. Uh, like boombox right and uh i remember just hearing zeppelin and and thinking to myself like that's the only thing that's real right now all of this stuff <laughs> everything else is hallucination but zeppelin's real yeah and i remember it it finished within like a song you know so it was i, I knew it was only a few minutes mm. but it se it seemed like it was you know 
two or three hours. Hey guys, if you enjoyed the content, uh, you are more than welcome to click the link in the description below. That will take you right to a free webinar where I will be taking you exactly through how to design a framework for your life and create that mission that will bring about a sense of intrinsic value to you. Go for it.